All right, as you can see here, it's got 191,427 miles on it. There we go, 191,427. It's turned over. We're going to start it up. This usually lights up, especially when it's cold. It always works, it just doesn't turn on very long when it's warm. 7.3 liter diesel. Radio, um, I don't know what's going on with it. It probably needs, the antenna's been broken off for years, but uh, it doesn't really work, they'll have to fix that. Heat works great. Blows good. Uh, there's no air conditioning anymore. You'll have to get that fixed, but it blows, it blows warm, real warm, and that works fine. It's got a 12 volt connector inside. Headlights work fine. High beams are on the floor. They work fine. You can see the indicator light turning on. It works just fine. Uh, windshield wipers are up here. Intermittent. They're a little old. You probably want to replace them, but they function. The motors work. Engine's real strong. 7.3 liter diesel. Has the big uh, side mirrors, which are adjustable. Driver's side's in real good shape. Passenger side has a crack on the um, on the uh, big bubble mirror, but you can fix that, or you can leave it. You can still see just fine. Seat belts work. You know the springs are a little a little old, but work fine. Brake brake works real well. Pumps up real tight. This there's no problem stopping this thing. Put it in the drive. Let's see here. Put it in the drive, we'll shake it out for a little spin here. Accelerates real good. It's a diesel, it drives nice. Here, this is a good engine in this thing. Shifts good. Slips a little, I think, between two and three sometimes, but by and large, it drives real nice. Turn signals both work just fine. Brakes are real nice. I'm going to turn here and waste the tractor. Stops. You can hear it's running nice. Usually when I start it after a couple days or even a day, it'll start, but it'll start a little slow sometimes. I just shoot a little starter fluid into the car and it starts just fine. I'm going to pull out here. You need a chance to listen to it. Accelerates great. I mean, it's strong. You can hear this. This truck's got all kinds of pickup. I'm, I'm not going to go past the speed limit here, but it drives. Uh, it drives real nice. Got some people crossing the street. Definitely not going to hit them on camera. We'll go up here to the light, and we'll go up the hill and back, and give you a chance to see it go up the hill. As you can see, it um, it idles down real good when you're coming up to a oil indicates good, good pressure, battery's good. Two newer batteries, a couple years old. Does not run hot. Temperature is usually real nice. Stops just fine. I'm gonna turn here. No problem. You can hear how good it runs. Turn here. Steering's real good too. Um, power steering, I believe. I mean, it's not hard to steer. Like I said, this uh, this truck's old, but this engine runs real good. It's strong. Great diesel engine. We're gonna go up the hill here, and that'll be it. But I'll we'll take it up a big hill when you get a chance to see the kind of how no, the power is going up a hill and it's just, it's just fine. Now the back's empty, but the horn works. Good old fashioned horn. What else? Windows go up and down. All right.
hear it there, it, it slips a little bit going into three. Just, just a little. I had the transmission serviced and cleaned, the, the bands or whatever in there adjusted. It, it runs fine. I think this transmission's got a lot of life left in it. As you can hear, it slipped a little, but I was giving it a lot of gas too. If you're easy with it or you shift manually here with the, the knob, you don't have any problems. You can avoid that altogether. We're going to go up a hill here. We're accelerating good. If you look here at the speedometer, we're not having any problems getting up a hill here. And I'm not flooring it. Look at the hill there, you see where. Again, this is an 89, but it, um, it moves. We got no problems here. I mean, I, I'm probably going a little too fast for this hill. You know? There's no. For a work truck, you're in good shape. We'll get up here and we'll, we'll get it up to speed here in a minute and then we'll end the video for you. We're in a, not a fast zone here, so we're going to slow down. You know, like most diesels, you can let off the gas coming down a hill or whatever, and it'll it'll slow down just fine. You hear that thing run? I mean, it, it's got a lot of pickup for a big truck. Headlights work. We're gonna put them on. A little bit rainy here. And we're headed up to. Look at the speedometer here. We're heading up towards a uh, we're in a 45 zone. We're heading up towards 55, and as you can hear, we're on just fine. Moving along, no problem. I'm not sure if this light's about to change or not, so I'm going to slow down. All right, here we go. We'll run it up to 55 for you. 55 in this truck feels like you're going about 155. It's so big. Take a look. We're running right along here. And, you know, we got no problems up here at this speed. Now, she runs, you know, top end. You can get it up past 70, but I've never been real comfortable driving this truck above 70, so I can't tell you much about what happens above 70. We're in a 50 here, so I'll take it up to about 60, and that's as far as I'm going to. Take it. You know, but if you're cruising around doing work, you got no problems going speed limit in this thing. As you can see, the steering's real good. Um, I'm not having to put a lot of work into steering this thing. We're not having a lot of drift or alignment issues. Well, we're running at 55 here. You hear the engine. It's running just fine. I'll break up here and turn around momentarily. I'm just accelerating past 55 now. And, uh, running just fine. See, like most diesels, it'll slow down on its own real nice. You don't need to. We'll turn up here, and I'm going to break at this intersection. You can see I'm breaking. No problem. Runs idles down real nice. You know, just, just a nice driving truck. Uh, head back into this area here. As you can see, we got uh, no problems here. I'm going to actually. Turn around here because this is not an area I want to be driving. Put it in reverse for you. The side mirrors are real nice. You can see what you're doing. Anybody coming back there? No. So yeah, it's an old truck, but uh, no problems whatsoever. Turning around, as big as it is, it's pretty easy to turn around in a tight spot. 
plenty of heat out of here. I'm going to shut that off. It's getting hot. It's getting hot in here. You can see after all that cruising around, as far as the heat gauge goes, we're, we're hanging in. You know, we're not doing any kind of overheating or anything. So that, uh, that you know, uh, oil pressure good. Everything's in good shape. This is an engine overspeed buzzer. It doesn't come, it has not come on, so we're not doing anything wrong. All right, that's it. If you have any questions, give me a ring.